and wanted to go very much further. Carrera's plans for Hammer were indeed wider reaching than the Gothic horrors. He'd moved from producing to writing and directing. Hammer diversified in the 60s with psychological thrillers, including Taste of Fear, Paranoiac with a young Oliver Reed, and The Nanny with veteran star Betty Davis. Make it difficult for Nanny, Master Joey. Michael Carrera's real preference was for such exotic adventures as One Million Years B.C., Hammer's greatest moneymaker, and Ryder Haggard's She. You are aware of my orders, that all strangers are to be brought unharmed to me. You disobeyed these orders. You prepared to sacrifice one of these strangers. I am she who must be obeyed. There is only one penalty for those who do not choose to obey. A lesson in obedience. Teach them. Do you think we'd get him? Forget, so they were going to take a nap and talk to Mr. Leo. A number of Hammer's more outlandish and bizarre projects failed to reach the screen. A brief flirtation with Kung Fu proved less than happy, and Hammer returned to their old standby, spin-offs from popular television series. I think they went wrong when Tony Hines left because I don't think anybody could replace Tony Hines with that same understanding of the basic plots that would adapt to the genre. I don't think anybody else had the same sympathy, the same feeling for quality. Other producers took over, but they were copies. They didn't have that original inspiration that he had. To me, Tony Hines was Hammer. I stopped making them in 1971 because, uh, in my opinion, the presentation of the character had deteriorated to such an extent, particularly bringing him into the contemporary day and age, that it no longer had any meaning. And the problem was, and I said this at the time, that a story was written and then somebody said, well, where should we put the character in at precise moments? And it got to a point where I was only required to appear from time to time from a dark corner or something like that and uh, do very little else. I think the Springland Dry on Dracula and Frankenstein years ago 
I know they keep coming back and making cod Draculas, but I don't think you could turn around now and make remake Dracula or remake Frankenstein. Because I think the whole thing has been really done to death. I think a, a moment came to an end. Sir James left, retired. I think the moment came to an end. You know, there was a time and then there wasn't a time. The reason for Hammer's decline, the one that's usually supplied, is the fact that The Exorcist came along and the major studios got in on the act. I think that's true up to a point. It's perfectly fair to say that major studios threw a lot of money at the kind of genre subjects that Hammer were doing, but I think it's only true up to a point. The fact is that Hammer were making the wrong films at the wrong time in the 70s. They should have been making Night of the Living Dead, they should have been making Halloween, they should have been trying to find a Cronenberg or a Carpenter. If they'd found that low-budget formula, they could have gone on for another decade. There was one chance, a film called The Devil Rides Out, a very good film, which anticipated Rosemary's Baby, in a way. That could have taken off. It could have been a series. If Hammer had just got hold of a series, it would have saved them. we did was to create a morality play. It was, um, it was a fairy story. It really was fantasy. It was magic. People knew it couldn't really happen. What they do today can happen, does happen, and will go on happening, and that's where I'm against it. And that's why I haven't made a film like this for so many years. All age groups, from what I hear verbally and by mail, they loved those films because of those they frightened them, frightened them, scared them, get a lovely scare, like on the roller coaster, you know, and screaming down, but knowing you'll come safely up the other side, and your boyfriend puts his arm around your shoulder to protect you. They were never, um, what was the word they used? Uh, um, they, were, they were frightened, but they weren't repelled. <laughs> 